all kindly join in singing the entrance hymn here we are here we are all together as we sing our song joyfully here we are Join together as we pray, we'll always be. Join we now as friends to celebrate the Eucharist we share. All as one, keep the fire burning, kindle it with care. And we'll all join in and sing, here we are. All together as we sing our song joyfully here we are join together as we pray we'll always be mass intentions thanksgiving masses offered by johnny parera on his birthday jane gururaj john arakal and molly george for recovery from covid Pakya Mary for complete healing for the intentions of Frankie Correa on his birthday Noela de Souza the Matos family for good health seven day mass Donald Forsey death anniversary of Mari Pinto for the souls of Mr P S V Krishnan and Eric Saldana Henry Almeida, Victor Martis, Sarah Augustin, Isabel and Xavier Brito, Mina De Mello, Gregory Juliana, Vinnie and Gabriel, Cajetan Concesio De Costa, Lily Quadris, Joseph and Marie De Souza, Albert Michael De Souza, Lily and Peter Mathias. Betty Omar, Lino Pimenta, Father Anthony Cardozo, Montu Piedad and Valerian Fernandez, Mr. K C Joy, Alice Mathias, Joe Dias and for the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today the church celebrates the feast of saint irenius a martyr who defended the catholic faith and today we the redemptorist also celebrate and remember the four ukrain Ukrainian redemptorist martyrs Bishop Nicholas Charnetsky Bishop Vasil Father Zenon Kovalik and Father Ivan Ziatik After the Second World War the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church was suppressed and faced a lot of persecution from the Soviet Union they imprisoned tortured and killed many faithful thousands of faithful were persecuted bishops priests and laity but these four redemptorist missionaries continued their mission even in the midst of persecution and they remained faithful to their call until death Dear brothers let us acknowledge our sins especially for the times when we have failed to commit ourselves to Jesus completely and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. 
through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The men set out from oaks of Mamre, and they looked down towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them and set on their way. The Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I have chosen him, that he may command his children and his household after him, to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteous and justice, so that the Lord may bring Abraham what he has promised him. Then the Lord said, Because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and their sin is very grave, I will go down to see whether they have done altogether according to the outcry that has come to me. And if not, I will know. So the men turned from there and went to Sodom. But Abraham still stood before the Lord. Then Abraham drew near and said, Will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there are fifty righteous within the city. Will you then sweep away the place and not spare it for the fifty righteous who are in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to put the righteous to death with the wicked, so that the righteous fare as the wicked. Far be that from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do what is just? And the Lord said, If I find at Sodom fifty righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham answered and said, Behold, I have undertaken to speak to the Lord, I who am but dust and ashes. Suppose five of the fifty righteous are lacking, will you destroy the whole city for the lack of five? And he said, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. Again he spoke to him and said, Suppose forty are found there. He answered, for the sake of forty, I will not do it. Then he said, O let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Suppose thirty are found there. He answered, I will not do it, if I find thirty there. He said, Behold, I have undertaken to speak to the Lord. Suppose twenty are found there. He answered, For the sake of twenty, I will not destroy it. Then he said, O let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak again but this once. Suppose ten are found there. He answered, For the sake of ten, I will not destroy it. And the Lord went his way. When he had finished speaking to Abraham, and Abraham returned to his place. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response to your psalm is, The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. Bless the Lord, 
O my soul, and all within me. His holy name, bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. It is the Lord who forgives all your sins, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with mercy and compassion. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and rich in mercy. He will not always find fault, nor persist in his anger forever. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. He does not treat according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong his mercy for those who fear him. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Today, harden not your hearts, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, when Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. And a scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has no way to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as Christians, we are all called to follow Jesus. And we want to follow Jesus enthusiastically like the scribe in the Gospel passage. We want to do something for Jesus. But it is easy to follow Jesus and to do something according to our own will and our desires, according to our own wishes. But it is difficult to follow Jesus according to the demands of discipleship. In the Gospel reading, the scribe comes to Jesus enthusiastically and he wants to follow him. But Jesus does not disregard him. But he reminds him of an important aspect of discipleship. That this life you are going to choose is not easy, but it comprises of challenges and risks. It is difficult, you will face troubles. Are you ready for it? And in the second instance, Jesus challenges the man to follow him, to make a total and complete surrender to follow him. There are no excuses no reservations but a complete 
and a total surrender to God, to follow Him with whole heart. Today, the lives of these four redemptorist Ukrainian martyrs stands as a witness to this radical call of discipleship, to this radical challenges of discipleship. When these four redemptorist martyrs were in prison, they continued their apostolic mission even in the face of persecution. Bishop Nicholas Charnetsky was imprisoned for 11 years. And even in prison, he continued to minister to people. He courageously proclaimed God's word. And due to the persecution and number of interrogations, he succumbed to poor health. Bishop Vassil was imprisoned for 13 years and his health was deteriorated because of the tortures he faced in the prison. Father Ivan Ziatek, who also faced 10 years imprisonment, was tortured and brutally beaten up and was left out in the coal to die. And last, Father Zenon Kowalik, a fearless preacher of God's word and the love of the mother of God. At one, at one instance, his confres told him to be cautious of what he's doing because he will be arrested. But he said that I will continue to proclaim God's word till I die. And Father Zenon was arrested. And after six months' time, he was killed. And remembering that he was preaching the crucified Christ, they crucified Father Zenon on the wall. This is the demand of discipleship. To accept the challenges, the risks, and to make a total surrender of one's life. There is no turning back in the face of persecution or in face of difficulties. The lives of these four Ukrainian martyrs challenges us to live our call as disciples, to live our call as Christians faithfully, to accept our daily challenges, to grow in love for God, to be strong in faith. Discipleship is not an option but it is a decision to be made every day. I will make that extra effort. I will go and reach out to the poor. I will help my family member. I will forgive, even though it hurts. Jesus calls us to bring, to give something more of our lives. And when he says that, we have to face challenges and risk. Doesn't mean that he leaves us. The most wonderful part is that he gives us the grace to bear these challenges, to come out of it. He journeys with us. Are you willing to make a complete surrender of your life to God? to accept the risk, 
and challenges, the troubles, the difficulties, to die that little martyrdom every day in your life. Let us pray for this grace in this Eucharist to be able to follow Jesus every day. For our offertory hymn, we'll sing the hymn, All for You, Lord. All for You, Lord, all for You, everything I give to You. All for You, Lord, all for You, make it all Your own. Take my hands and feet, Lord, take them all for you. They are instruments, Lord, put them for your use. To spread your love and give the good news, all for you, my God. All for you, Lord, all for you. Everything I give to you, all for you, Lord, all for you, make it all your own. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that by the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, earth is full of your glory. Glory fills the heavens to sing to him, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes, bringing his great glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, sing to him, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald Gracious, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, him. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray in times of coronavirus. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before your picture to beseech your intercession. We think of your mother at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was so great when he rose from the dead victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. For our final hymn, we'll sing the hymn, Thank You, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done, things both great and small. And for Jesus Christ, your Son, thank you most of all. You forgive us when we falter, you bring healing when we sin. You redeem our life from bondage and renew us deep within. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done, things both great and small. And for Jesus Christ, your Son, thank you most of all. Oh.